I've got onions. If you guys watched my seed starting kit comparison video, you'll recall that back at the end of January, I started onion seeds in four different kits from four different companies. So I had a kit from Perp I had a kit from Burpee, from Parks, from Gurney's, and a Jiffy kit from my local Menards. It's the third week in March now, and I've moved the onions from indoors in my seed starting rack to out here in the greenhouse, and I wanted to give an update on how the seedlings are looking. So let's take a look. An update on the seed starting kits. This is day 11 after sowing, and the onion seedlings are up and about an inch and a half to two inches tall. This is the Jiffy seed starting kit. It's kind of hard to tell because these onion seedlings are so thin, but this kit had the worst germination rate of all the kits. It was like between half and two thirds of the seedlings came up in this one. The Gurney's seed starting kit had a pretty good germination rate, about 85%. The Parks kit was similar, about an 85% germination rate. And the burpee kit was a little better germination than the Jiffy kit, a little worse than the Parks and Gurneys. So this is the kit from Parks. And I have to say that for onion seeds specifically, I'm really liking this small plug size. I've grown other seedlings, tomatoes, peppers, broccoli, cabbage, and for those, I like the bigger cell sizes better, but for onions, I'm really liking this. And we had a pretty good germination rate, the seedlings look good, so I'm happy with this kit. This is the kit from Burpee, and if you recall, I had quite a time with this one in the beginning. And I will say that I've been pleasantly surprised in terms of the seedlings that have germinated and grown they're doing just as well as the seedlings in the other kits but you can see i had a lot of cells where for whatever reason the seeds did not germinate i got no growth i suspect that part of that is because of the uneven um, moisture wicking so the wicking system if you can see this mat on the bottom here is supposed to wick up moisture to the seedlings and just a few days into the experiment, I was finding that I had to top water everything to keep these plants evenly moist. So overall, for the trouble of putting this thing together and then the trouble of having to top water everything, I'm not real happy with this seed starting kit. Here we have the kit from Gurney. So as I mentioned, this bigger plug cell size, I favor this for my other larger crops so it's great for tomatoes i've got some broccoli growing in them right now broccoli and cabbage cauliflower they do really well the plants again the onion plants that are growing here are doing just fine but i just find that that smaller cell size is really nice for the tiny little onion seedlings but overall this kit was really easy to use i'm i'm happy with it and then finally i've got my kit from menards and again, the onions that are growing are doing okay, but I had a pretty poor germination rate. So you can see here, I've got a lot of cells where I had nothing come up. So this is a cost effective option and you can see it's not performing terribly. So overall, not, not too bad. I'll give one final update when I'm ready to transplant these seedlings into the garden. So be sure to check back to see how they're doing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.